It's one of the toughest days in the NFL where all 32 teams must cut their, cut their rosters from 90 to 53 players. But for the Broncos, they just did that today and made some pretty surprising moves. The biggest of which will be Denver releasing both quarterback Kevin Hogan and Brett Ripon, or Ripon, excuse me, just leaving Joe Flacco as the only healthy quarterback on the roster and rookie QB Drew Locke heading to the IR. Joining him on the IR will be running back Theo Riddick and tight end Jake Butt. Some other notable cuts would be O lineman Sam Jones, wideout Fred Brown, safety Sue Cravens, and running back Kalfani Muhammad. Now, some of these players can be signed to the practice squad tomorrow, but for the Broncos brass, the QB situation is the definition of fluid. Wide open. You know, we'll just see what happens. Obviously, the wire is going to come out in about three or four hours, so we'll see what's there. And so we're exploring all, all options at this point in time. Coach, you got an emergency backup quarterback? Loosening up right now. <laughs> uh, um, we'll have it fixed. You know, we don't play for uh, about, what, 12 days, 11 days. So there'll be somebody in there. Another Broncos player cut today would be defensive end and former CSU Pueblo Thunderwolf Dion Sizer. Sizer has already been cut once this spring, but most likely a candidate for a practice squad somewhere. We caught up with Sizer after Thursday's game, and he said he'd be fine with whatever decision the Broncos made. Uh, my main goal is to make sure I can look myself in the mirror at the end of the day and be able to say, like, I gave everything I had, and, you know, I'm proud to say that I can do that. You know, whatever happens with the roster and all of the things like that, I know I can sleep happy because I gave everything I could, I could possibly do. So. And finally, one other Bronco roster move. Denver added their cornerback depth when they traded for Patriots cornerback Duke Dawson ahead of Saturday's roster deadline. Denver sent a 2026th round pick to New England.